Hello everyone, and welcome back to Mario Plus Rabbids Sparks of Hope. I almost said Kingdom Battle. In the last episode, we checked out Rabbid Mario and Peach, and... Yeah, in between episodes, I switched to the Luigis, because they're the only two characters we have not seen yet. Unfortunately, they're, they're both Luigi. In between episodes, I grabbed a puddle of stars we saw earlier on, but forgot to grab, and just bought some items. I... Oh, yeah. Wait, I also forget how you can sprint by holding down X. Blech. Oh, <laughs> you can also speed run donuts. Oh. Wait, speed? <laughs> so you just say speed donuts? I, I didn't know that they would have voice for, for that. But now let's just enter in here and see what happens. <laughs> Oh yeah, I also forgot we unlocked a new spark. I mean, there's one of these teleport flags. Let's give us stuff. Hello there, I forgot your name, but you're one of the sparks. Huh. We can interact with stuff again. Apparently, Augie believes he's from the family of proud demigods. For such divine creatures, murals must be like family photos. Unfortunately, this regal depiction of the birth of Augie and his twin, Perfectus, is marred by Augie's chronic dyspepsia. I realize I could turn in the middle of that. Oh, hey, a ladder. Can I go back and just put that down? No, okay, I'm assuming that I go back. Oop, no, I didn't mean to hit Y. I meant to hit X. I'm assuming that's going to be something we do later. Does Beetle still have his ability to push stuff? I guess we'll find out soon. There! I saw the spark of light! It went over that big old crevice! Hmm. Perhaps we could cross over it without blank, but we'd need to raise the water level there somehow. Oh, yeah! Alright, that's me, but how is this blocking the water? And Beepo does... No, Beepo doesn't have the ability to push. She can just... Yeah, but... Yep. But look, how does this block the water? There's clearly space for it to go through. I mean, I guess for the point of puzzle solving. But it doesn't make sense to me. I just gotta push a bunch of things around and it should be good. And oh, I can move things sideways, too. Alright, if I push this the other way and... I, I think I have no what I need to do here. No, I want to push this a little bit more that way. Now, can I? Yes, I can move it that way. And that should allow the water to pass? Yes. Activating the octopus thing. And filling up the moat. Oh, hey, it's one of the memory things. Can I interact with this? Yes. By age 10, Augie's brother was the patron deity of effortless victories, epic love poems, and glistening six-pack abs. It looks kind of like Hercules from the Disney animation. Hello, Rapid. What do you have to say? <coughs> Boy, goons are intimidating. A little Goomba goes a long way. If you could defeat even three of them, I'd be grateful. Oh! Goomba Hunt! New quest available! Yeah, 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 yeah. So it looks like talking to certain people gives you quests, and we do a level for Goomba here. Dash. So, without further ado, let's do that quest real quick. There are bob -ombs, three Goombas in the back. Now, I'm hoping that those three Goombas count as Goombas. Anyway, I went ahead and equipped the, our new Fire Spirit on Rabbit Luigi. Rabbit Luigi focuses on dealing burn damage. He, I'm on it. His main attack, I'm not going to reach that, yeah. moves to target multiple foes. And I want to see if I can test this real quick. I'll go for burn attack here. 
because I want to see what happens. Now, I can fit all of them, and they only hit all elements. Doing that does bonus damage. It doesn't look like that's the text translate to other characters anymore, though. That's all Luigi's actions for now, or grab Luigi. No, Luigi! If I. Oh, wow, the cover's at an angle. Also, I bought a couple more items. I bought mushrooms and super clocks. I, I didn't buy any pal blocks. Luigi! Has a, a sharpshooter! By his own projectile, the further the target, the more damage he deals. So, he does better for the range. He also has Surly Stare. Not, not something new for Gotta Teach. Alright! Keeping it 100. On top of that, I also increase Luigi's damage and range, and I, for Rabbit Luigi, I increased his the range on his weaken effect, which I will go over next battle, as well as how much it we use. Oh, that counted as one. It looks like I should be able to interact with you. You look mechanical, Crab. That's the way I came from. Let's see what else is up here. It's a uh, memory. Oh, I think it's the one I saw earlier. Sweet. Yeah. Yep, Sunrise Temple. Let's. This time, I'm not going to be talking over this. While its date of origin is uncertain, the Sunrise Temple seems quite ancient. Damaged but explorable, it slowly revealed its mysteries. A secret passage leading to Beacon Town, a mysterious room filled with time worn pottery, and a series of murals depicting the Warden's life story which I personally found self-indulgent, perhaps due to an effort by Augie to garner sympathy. That's cool. Uh, I actually want to test. If I play the audio here and then leave, will it still play? While it's... No. Good thing to know. And here's the ladder I saw earlier. Yeah. <laughs> People just kind of vanish. Speed donuts! Yeah, uh, I don't think I can spin <laughs> and that, yeah. yeah, dashing cancels out spinning. I can't fake speed donuts. Sorry, Rabbit Luigi. The only trophy Augie won as a child was for second place in a broadwurst eating contest. That was short. Anyway, some coins. Another Goomba. Hit him with a dashing move. Oh, gosh, that's a lot of Goombas. And an all enemy. Well, actually, I've gone over Goombas before. Oh, so this can pick, be picked up after being Dash. The thing is, I've never had one survive long enough to do that. Anyway, Stooge, simple-minded, it limits itself to attacking opponents from behind cover. No strengths or weaknesses, completely neutral. Darkness blasts, a single medium range projectile with flat thing. That's his movement. All right, now they've gone over that, let's go. I want to use burn attack for sure, because fire is good. Unfortunately, it seems to only attack. Rabbit Luigi can I dash twice. No. That's fine. Oh, you're out of range there, Luigi, huh? So it looks like they attack three totems. And, oh, it burns other people. Oh, if they touch, oh gosh, we're going to have chaos. <laughs> Oh no, everyone's everywhere. Uh, this wasn't part of the plan. And no one's in range either. Huh. Hey, Luigi, can you, uh, sharp through this guy? Oh, thank you. And I'm just gonna. Let's go for Sterly Stare here. Hm. Luigi is ready to hit whatever moves. We hit one, but they're gonna get dash attack off on us. Wow. Oh, he's just out of range. Ow. You're not. Those three are still in the line. And those two are still in the line. Okay. Right, so it's saying dash hands. For now, let's see if everyone's here. Let's use exhaust. <laughs> I feel like that move had a drop in frame rate. But for now, Luigi's in a better position to tap. Oh, yeah. 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 Sure, while I'm at it, turbo charge. Is there a real purpose of this? No. But why not? 
Alright, let's go for the team jump here and just get as far away as possible. Yes. Or at least in range for Rabba Luigi to get over here. Right. E3 because there you And here should be good. I just need to get as far away as them as possible, and that is good. I like how the Luigi's weapon, but is we can affect this kind of pointless, I feel like, when you have Luigi's other way. Yeah, you should be out of range, it should just be a simple... Bang. Also, what was from a sniper to a bow? Is it a downgrade? Kinda, but at the same time, he still plays the same. I really don't see why they made the switch. Anyway, three, three Goombas, one to go. As soon as I complete that quest, I'm gonna be heading straight back to that one rabbit. They got the money. Oh, we actually have an item shop here, so I can buy stuff. Pals are cheaper, so let's buy four. I can buy memories now, or a weapon. Not enough of that. I'm assuming I'm gonna get some of this stuff from uh, the Speed donuts. For now, let's look at this. The ocean is said to have been formed by the tears of Perfectus's hairdressers, who wept with joy while brushing his golden mane. I don't think oceans are made by that. Sure, they would be salty, I guess. Augie's first job was to help sailors in distress. This mural is called Sentinel of the Seas. Oh boy. So you have the successful child and the one that was not successful and that is the cookie I want to eat. Without the spark, we will not be able to enter the lighthouse. I, I really like the gags in this game, like one character using a flamingo thing to go through and the other ha and Rabbit keeps having a hair dryer that wasn't even plugged in by the way. Oh, gee, that is far from the only reason we should save that poor creature. Obviously, defeating the Darkmas Tentacle will also provide us with one of two purified Darkmas energy crystals we need. Not what he's talking about, Jamie. However, this creature's higher density of darkness energy, as compared to puddles, means our enemies will be more formidable. <sighs> That's what I get for buying you an off-the-shelf AI empathy module to save time. We'll work on it. In deep water, quest updated. What is that? It's a green ring. I wonder what we do with that. I feel like I've seen green rings somewhere before, but first... I can't imagine what could cause Augie, of all people, to abandon a delicious cheesecake. We'd best keep on our toes. Augie left cheesecake? Whoop, whoop. How dare yeah. you? I, I really like cheesecake, and I ran into the ladder. Bingo! But for real quick, there is a Goomba here I want to defeat. Because this should be the last Goomba we need for that quest. As soon as it loads, because loading time seems to be longer in this game for whatever reason. Sometimes, not always, though. Right, we have enemies back there as well as that guy behind the cover. Yeah. Using fire to cause a lot of chaos is bad. Uh, our health should be fine for now. Warriors of Mario! We can't go back there. Right, uh, I want to go over here and use Weaken, just where I can get maximum range on this. <laughs> or just hit everyone. <laughs> Exhaust. <Exactly. Whoa! laughs> 
And Goombas are unfortunately all out of range to get hit there. Like, can I hit you? I, I, I target you for a sec. Zero percent chance. Zero percent chance. Sure. It's okay. It's a little weird. We can't get through this small crevice, but you know what? I'm just gonna roll with it. Bash you, and I just wanna get over here faster. I'm going to go for just trying a random Goomba we find here. You shot straight up, Luigi. How did that hit? And surly stare, so I can hit that one rabbit who's close to <laughs> Rabbit Luigi. Oh, yeah! Or oh, hit yeah. the back one! Yeah. At least you didn't attack first. And we are technically behind full cover. Now you're behind half cover. Luckily, there's still some folk over there. Uh, sure, dashing these boomers is going to be our best Whee! option. Oh, right, let's see. Where's some. I want to go over here. Yes, perfect. They're still out of range. Oh, actually, do I have two of these? Yes, I do. I have two action points. So, terrible charge. Yeah. And. Yes, I can hit you. So I can dash these guys real quick. Ran the table. And for my final hit, let's just Oh. Hmm. Let's just go for a normal attack. Fair to save the route uh, spark for if I need it. Maybe I should have moved behind more cover. Yeah, here, no, no. Team up, let's get you away. I want to move you as much as possible. So, go for the burn attack here. I, you know, why not that? Yeah, I guess it just KOs you. Oh, that does affect the lazy, just not on Goombas for some reason. Oh, and it does a lot of damage too. That's the thing I need to keep in mind. Burn does actual damage. Maybe I shouldn't have used all my coins to buy stuff. I don't know if I have enough for healing. How much is it? Uh, a hundred. I lack money. Before I, uh, let's see, there is, okay, you were at the beginning. Oh, yes, I leveled yes, up. Yes, yes, uh, yes. sure. Why not? I probably shouldn't be viewing these things. I don't understand it. But from my understanding, this just lets me get free items. Like a move boost. Uh. Sure. Yeah, exit. No, exit. And new memory. Let's see what this is. Oh, it's Augie. Research into the Warden of Beacon Beach, Augie, reveals a myriad of known traits. Insecure, attention-seeking, irresponsible, impulsive, cowardly, childish, gluttonous, entitled, dishonest, poor hygiene. Yet the ones that come up most often are kind-hearted and lovable. How these characteristics can be made compatible is beyond my current comprehension. I will have to investigate further. They're beyond your comprehension because people didn't get the right chip for your brain. I got this. No, you don't got this, Rabbit Luigi. <laughs> Let's climb down here. Yeah. And I wish I had more money. Let me go back to that one rabbit. I'll meet you here in a sec and see if he gives me money. Hold on, what was that? Oh, oh yeah. and there's a cookie here. Let's interact with this oh, first, though. really needs to invest in some food storage containers or a cleaning person or something. I, Speed I agree. There's even princels over here. Can I interact with oh. Two days 
for the dough to rise, eight hours to knead, and after licking the cinnamon glaze off, Augie tosses it aside. Augie, you're wasting a lot of food here. Anyway, I'll meet you at that one rabbit. Here we are. The three Oopas in me now, but whenever you have to come to the Winkers' army, I don't even need to talk to you. So unfortunately, that rabbit didn't give me money. In fact, I'm pretty sure the quest auto-completed. So my solution, sell stuff. Is it always 100 coins? Ah, eh, we'll find out later. Anyway, time for the temple rescue. Oh, this is different. I just have to reach the area, good. One thing to keep in mind, I am not optimizing my gear here. Just saying. Super effects. Super effects can be applied to potentially anyone gathering unique behaviors. Here's the burn super effect. It just targets a light. Oh, I've had uh, some experience. Super effects are useful against enemies. If you take care to avoid their resistances and exploit their weaknesses. For example, the scoper is weak against burn. Equip one of your heroes with Pyrostar. Might be a good strategical move. Remember, to, always remember to use the tactic hammer pressing L to check enemy weaknesses and resistances. Right, so if I use the Beepo tactic cam, uh, I said use the Beepo tactic cam, I can I dash? No, but I can use left and right to move around characters quickly as soon as I'm close. Yeah, res we can burn resistant to frostbite. Alright, we have burn, no access to frostbite. I have to dash this. Uh, it says use. Oh, it creates land for us to go on. Anyway, keep this. We actually have a sharp shooter here. So why not? Why shouldn't I use the burn attack to deal high damage at what pretty quickly? You are weak against burn. Oh wow, yeah, you're really weak against burn. Not only do you take more damage from running around, you will take like double damage from the initial hit. And you're still alive. How much health do you have? There we go, Tiger Tank wasn't working. Twelve. That's annoying to me. But not too big of an issue, I just need to be able to get a shot off. But you can see the layers where it does more damage. Early stare. If someone comes close to us, they'll be feeling the pain of my bow. <laughs> I guess that works for yeah. They're out of range of attack. Alright. No, I don't think I can reach that with Rabbit Luigi. No, by good. By King with normal Luigi, hopefully. No, that didn't work. Let's go for a turbo charge here, buff our damage. And sure, I'm gonna suggest that you might as well. Unfortunately, I did technically get an out of bounds damage debuff, but that's fine. I should have seen if I could take you out first before I did this. I doubt you're out of range anyway, okay. Uh, I could use an item. Fetch your sparks and techniques for immediate, you know, yeah, let's just have the enemies do their turn. Okay, looks you're in range of Luigi, got it. That's not good. Fortunately for Luigi right now, I wanna grab this. Use it here, I am vulnerable though. Not for long, though. I can now have access to minor cover. <laughs> and then not even hit anything. Okay, wow, your... Your turn's not going to use, but it's not as useful as it could be. Only one place I get actual chance to hit you. And that's not gonna KO. I need to get further away. What if I do it from here? I know we got the open, but no. Yeah. You're in range there. Let's just go for a sterly stare, and that should take you out when you move. 
Hold on, hi. Can I hit either one of you guys? Yes. Silly Star can also be paired with, you know, the, the fire because it makes enemies move. I I'm, I don't I'm only need to use an item with Grab Luigi, so let's just go get it. Yeah. And my plan technically did work there. It shot the enemy, but it didn't do much damage because of the rain. Ow. Right then, I can go for a dash here. And then if I go for a burn attack and hit that sniper that over there. Because super effective and hitting me behind the wall. Nice. Okay, you are not a good place for me. Now Luigi can't reach that reach that switch, that is fine. Alright, let's just go behind cover. I sh no, where's somewhere I can hit you? Sure, I guess. Yeah, I, I want to go hit that switch over there, but it's not a big deal if I can't. It opens up an area to my left, I'm guessing. Enemy turn. Right. Everyone's targeting Rabbit Luigi. Makes sense he's in range. Can I dash you? <laughs> yes, I can. And this is also in range. Uh, barely, but it is in range. And no cover there. And they're not in range either, so I don't want to go for that. No one's in range there. Might as well move up here. I can't hit anyone here, so I can hit you, though. Uh, turbo charge here, because it allows me to one-shot you while the damage increase. Take that! No silly stare, but that's fine. Okay, oh, they hit Luigi once. They didn't hit you at all, though. Let's actually not team jump yet. I can't use the burn effect, unfortunately. But if I'm correct, these both be in range. One's barely not in range. So if I go for a team jump with Luigi, he should, the other one should be in range. Yes, I can get here. Enjoy the weakness! Actually, I might not even need to attack these guys at all. It's possible I can just get there with Luigi right now. Nope, never mind. Not impossible for me to get there with Luigi right now. I should have gone for the other one for more damage. Anyway, still at least there. I wish there was a way I could skip these cuts. Oh, I can skip them with B. You're not existing anymore. Right, with that, actually, I can reach this goal anytime I want. Almost anytime I want. Uh, I'm, let's see, yeah, if I go back here a bit and go here with Rabbit Luigi, I should be able to take you out with Burn Attack. So it's for the Star Bits. Because it's ineffective, and you'll be out in the open, so I can probably dash you with Luigi. You're not. You know what? Grab <laughs> Luigi says something because he was about to get shot. Right, no movement, but that is fine. It's as simple as just going in here. Unfortunately, you can't. It's not stop moving in there. It's it just go in there and all. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Oh! <laughs> 
Drum to the edge, defeat the defeat giant wild claw, not the giant wild claw. And it looks like we can trust the ominous stranger. Having three heroes cooperating on the battlefield would give a huge advantage. Uh, anyway, now that I can talk, it looks like we got a new spark as well. I need to heal my team. I cannot heal my team. Huh. Right then, I don't actually think I like our character's loadout anyway, so I'm gonna switch it around real quick. And I'll let you know what I t end up with. Oh, we have Edge here, who's locked. Blade Master. Also, Rabbit Luigi is a pest. Well, Luigi's a sneak attacker. Just thought I'd point that out. Yeah, I'll see you when I choose the team loadout. Right then. I've switched my team around a little bit, and we'll show you in a sec. I now have Mario and Rabbit Peach, because I kind of prefer them the most. And on Rabbit Peach, I have our little Starburst here, who can increase damage. And on Mario, I have the Flame Spirit uh, Spark, because he can target two enemies at once, inflicting burn on both. Anyway, on Edge here, I was able to level up the Spark, and it deals less damage. For his main attack, it looks like he throws it. On top of that, he has this skill, Stormblade. Oh, wow, everything in range takes damage. In that case, let's give that everything in range takes damage a shot. First off, can I get Rabbit Peach close enough to do this? Yes. More damage is good. Let's go over a team jump here, and I should hopefully be able to get in range of these two rabbits. Uh, now this shouldn't count as an attack, so let's see Stormblade. Right then, uh, it looks like whenever they move, I'm moving to that range though. And jeez, that's a lot of damage. But I'm gonna go for the Fortify skill because I don't want to take damage as much as possible. On Mario, let's see, is anyone in range? No. Don't use Hero Sight either then. Got a Peach? Also no. Let's just give the enemy turn. That was probably a bad move, but I wanted to see that skill take pretty badly, so. It'll be fine. Oh, you're a melee attack. I really should have checked out what your stats were. Oh, whoa. Look, those appear to be darkness portals. Destroy them quickly. More enemies are bound to pop out soon. Right, so we need to destroy them. Let's see if I can get range to heal, because that's a lot of damage. I can, but it's not going to be much. And are you weak against fire? Unnatural resistance. Oh gosh, resistant to everything. Right. I can't actually dash you, unfortunately. 
Can I... No, uh, is there any way I can hide, I guess? No, I, I can jump on the map of Peach, but I don't see how that'd be that beneficial to me at my current location. Especially with your you being a melee attacker. Uh, let me go back to the attack the camera real quick. What's your movement range? Oh, if attack moves towards the defender, it's a smasher! But I am out of your movement range. Alright, let's see this. Flying Blade. When thrown at enemy, ignore his partial cover while hitting multiple targets a long way before coming back. Alright, so it hits twice. Just dead mate. And that rabbit over there is not in range. I. No, oh, triple, triple shot's not a good plan here. Unless I can get her out of here, at least. Great, I might regret this. I, I will. I want me to rephrase that. I will regret this. But, uh, but I am going to see. I can't buff damage right now. You're resistant to this. But, let's see what having a resistance does. Because I'm not sure. First half reduced damage by a lot. And you're moving. Grab a peach. Oh, come on, you're just out of range. Alright, let's at least try to draw this off. Alright, now it depends either one of us can get hit. And enemy turn for now. I'm gonna have Edge here go for the darkness part. Don't. Oh no, uh, this guy does a lot of damage. Oh. So I guess if the darkness portal does go last, then- Oh, there's two of them now, that's- that's great. Then it just means we... lose, kinda. We just get target no matter what, anyway. Uh, might as well target you with a flying blade. Wait, that's a lot of hits because he's a bigger enemy! And... Give me that mushroom. Hits the spot. Right now, you are going to dash you, and I want to... Can I hide behind cover there? No, can I hit this portal from here? It won't take it out. That's annoying. In that case, it's better to hide behind cover here and take you out. On the other hand, Edge is not a good position. Uh, Alright, let's go ahead and use Hero Shot. Hero Sight here. We've seen that, so I'm just going to skip the animation from now on. And it's possible to take that point oil, but not likely. Alright! You have to remove the can and get past him immediately. And. Yeah, might as well heal. <laughs> Go on. Ouch. <laughs> oh, and oh no. You got lucky. Oh no. This is actually a difficult fight. And charging him with the edge was a bad idea. Right, I wanna. Go over here's the best place, I guess. Right, you're not in range. I go over here, you'll be in range. So will you, but it'll hit the cover twice. Let's see where I can go with Mario first. In range, no. Right, let's go over here and just hit you from here. I should have used the, the attack ability, but it's fine for now. Let's see. Reset cooldown? Nah, it's back in one turn anyway. Hold on. Moving behind cover here counts as not being able to hit him. I can't look around cover anymore. Oh, and I think Mario's in range of this attack. This could be bad. No, he's not, but he will get hit here. 
no reason to heal. Yes, you have one of the two covers in front of me. So you can hit for sure. And that's why I hit fire behind that cover. Jeez, this guy does a lot of damage, and I don't even think we're halfway done with him. The darkness portal there, I can't do anything about either. But with Edge gone, it's hard to damage anything. You're gonna hit me, no matter what. I need to get him off Mario. Oh, three crits. Oh yeah! I feel shot in here, I need a backup. Do I hit him here? Yes. Yeah, maybe Luigi would have been good in this fight here for the ability to attack at range. Maybe sure for now, you're gonna hit Mario with that. Probably Peach isn't looking that hot either. You are out of range of Mario, fortunately, but we are gonna have new enemies spawning in. And in fact, as well. Oh, Rabbit Peach, I think she can take one hit and have like two health. It's Mario, not so much. If I target you, will that defeat you? Maybe, but probably not. Right, let's. Hmm. If I use healing here, then I should be fine. I should see if I can get Mario in range of that, actually. Healing vibes! <laughs> Now, target you and then I can control it for you. Or I can just take you out. You were dead most of that fight. Purified Darkness Energy Crystal obtained. Battle repeated. I am going to heal quite a bit and level up which uses our stats. Those points, Darbits, and a memory. Intimidating stranger, it's vitally important that the spark come with us to the lighthouse. Until we destroy the lighthouse tentacle, we can't create warp tunnels to other planets, and eventually to Cursa. Like he's gonna understand what that means, Beepo. I can unlock the lighthouse. Watch, I'll meet you there. Do I? Oh, I can you come bingo, back? bingo, bongo, baby. We got the spark. Let's get into the lighthouse and. Oh yeah, you intimidated him. Uh, yeah, you again, the Spark Hunter. Not a Spark Hunter. Name's Edge. Great, Rabbit Edge. Welcome to. Why does Rabbit have to go in front of everything's name if it's a rabbit? Just because they're a rabbit doesn't mean the name starts with Rabbit, Beepo. Edge. <laughs> Just Edge. Spaceship, huh? Yeah, spaceship, huh? Guess you can ride sidecar with me for a time. It's not like you can't use the help. Speaking of help. I believe it's time we start keeping three heroes on our front line. Who'll take the first shift? The third hero slot unlocked. You can now bring with you another hero. Open the team section, just like who you want to bring. And looks like you're here now, so I'm going to talk to you. You're taking a bow. <laughs> nice weather we're not having. <laughs> Um, uh, about that darkness tentacle at the lighthouse. There's a shortcut that way in case you hate walking as much as I do. New quest unlocked. I didn't even notice a bunch of star bits appeared here. I I think if I go this way, it'll lure go pick <laughs> me around. Let me get the checkpoint first. And see what this is. In war time, Augie was left behind to watch the livestock. It's how a flock of chickens came to briefly rule his city. Wow! Augie, I mean, 
Yeah. You're big, but you're obviously not that powerful. Anyway, I got a lot of memories, and what's over? I'll do it next episode. For now, let's look at our memories real quick. Because I... I got a lot of them, so let's start with the one we just got. Curse's power is truly incredible, as evidenced during this attack by an enemy that had been enlarged to gigantic proportions, and not just due to their tremendous size. A battle analysis reveals that they are immune to all super effects as well. The amount of energy involved, along with the delicate nature of such amplification, would suggest that these oversized enemies are rare. Well, at least we're not going to be fighting them constantly, especially with how strong they are. And now I'm... Well, let's play this one, then I'm going to end the episode, because I want to do at least one of these in an episode, and... I don't... I might have done this one. I don't think I've done it yet. I might have done it, but if I have, you can just stop watching now, I guess. But let's play it. After the events of the Megabug, Beepo saw the need for an adaptive omnilinguistic assistant to translate Rabbities. After declaring it far better when he did not know what they were thinking, he pivoted to create an adaptive AI operating system to pilot the hero spaceship, and so created me. Beepo may look like a short-tempered, self-guided vacuum cleaner, but I am in his debt. <laughs> wow, I mean, I've heard of machines not liking their creators a lot. But yeah, anyway, next episode we're going to start by helping this rabbit who I thought was taken to a stone, but that's just his backpack. And I'll see you next time. Bye! Yes!